Hey guys, good morning. We are here on day 15 of the January 2K challenge. So we're trying to keep the sun out of our eye, uh, out of the lens. Um, yeah, we just grabbed our morning shot. We went to a local butcher's, uh, Barnacles. We've picked up two kilos of thick cut pork loins and two kilos of chicken breast. So they're actually out on chicken breasts, uh, sorry, chicken thighs, which is what we are, we're hoping to pick up. Unfortunately, so we just grabbed some chicken because I don't have all day to stand around or I don't have time to come back. I've got to get on with my job and that. So, uh, in total, we've got about four kilos of meat in our bag. And then we went to a, a local fruit and veg place. We've picked up four avocados, uh, one, uh, 1.2 kilos of salad potatoes because I couldn't find new potatoes. And then we also managed to grab uh, some parsnips as well, which we can add with the stuff we've already got. So in total, our food bill for the week is coming to about £34. And if the math checks out, we've probably picked up close to about 14, 15,000 calories, which is pretty good. It's in line with what we're looking for. And when it's all said and done, we'll probably burn off close to 20,000. Well, a bit less than that, to be honest, but morning. But yeah, general mood, pretty good, doing all right. Uh, not that hungry, actually just getting up and moving around has helped a lot with that. I find if I just get up and sort of like slump at my desk, some days can be a little bit slower, but like when I get up and actually do something, build up a little bit of a, a little bit of like a heartbeat, uh, I start feeling a little bit better. So something to keep in mind. Uh, today, dressed like a secret agent, because I'll be honest, I'm, I don't even have a shower yet. I need to. I don't jump, jump in, do that. And I've got loads of stuff going on. It's freezing, absolutely freezing today. Frost on the ground, just making sure we don't slip. But yeah, no, spring in the step, ready to start the week. We've got Metcon Kettlebell Bell Cards, which is a awful, awful training session. No, it's a great training session, but it feels awful when you're doing it, you know? Uh, what else to report? Nothing, except if you live in Bath in the UK, don't even own a car. There's like literally never anywhere to park. Anywhere. I had to park an absolute mile away just to get to the local butchers and fruit and veg shop. I wonder if it's a supermarket, at least they have their own parking spaces, right? Anyway, my arm's getting tired, my fingers are getting cold, so good time to call the video and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later and you can see what we're eating. Guys, here we are with meal one for day 15. I can't remember I got the day right earlier when I was doing my morning vlog, but we have new we have salad potatoes, so I can get new potatoes, and that's about 456 grams of pork loin and 231 grams of potatoes. We're also going to have 25 grams of uh, dark chocolate, which brings the total meal calorie count up to just over a thousand. It leaves us with about 1,200 to play with for the rest of the day before we do our training and factoring anything else that we're going to be doing any walking in that. So, looking pretty good. It's not very green. That's something like um, the avocado, but we'll have the avocado later. The ones I picked up from the fruit and veg store are actually much bigger than the ones I got from the supermarket at about two thirds of the price. Uh, yeah, it was about, sorry, 75p an avocado. So yeah, versus a pound or two pound, depending on which supermarket you're in. But this is really good stuff. Actually, one thing, I've got so much meat in that. I'm worried that it might go off before I get a chance to eat it all, but we're gonna be eating so much over the next couple of days. Uh, we'll just have to keep an eye on it and keep smelling it. That's the key thing. All right, guys, I'm going to eat this and I'll catch in with you when we have meal two. All right, guys, this is meal two for day 15. We have 161 grams of avocado. We have 236 grams of parsnips. That is 400 and some change grams of chicken breast. And we have 50 grams of dark chocolate. I actually forgot to eat it earlier. I was so full and I was busy with work and stuff. I completely forgot to sort that out. So we're gonna eat it now. And then we've got a training session in 45 minutes and it's a really tough one. So I've lined this up horribly. I should have eaten a lot sooner, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, we're gonna do this and then we're gonna go do uh, one of the hellish workouts from body development. Catch you guys for the summary at the end of the day. Hey, good evening guys. We're here at the end of day 15. It's been what a day today. Our workout was Metcon cards. We got through the whole deck. So we have 52 cards and then you have jokers. You do a bunch of exercises depending on the cards drawn. Uh, that was tough. I was 
really struggling. I started to get a stitch about halfway through uh, the exercise, which I haven't had before. And I can't tell if that's because we were going a lot faster or if that's due to the fact that I'm eating a lot less carbs in general and was perhaps a little bit low on energy before I went into the session. It was, um, it was good, but I was struggling whenever we got the high cards, so the face cards for squat, I struggle to keep pace with the rest of the class. You got the guys who just go like down, down over one, up over one, and just going down, up, down, up, down, up. And I, I'm struggling on the, uh, on the squat set to keep that pace. I'm kind of like maybe, I do about two reps for every three that they're doing, and you kind of fall behind in the class. And that's something I need to work on. Perhaps I need to be using a lighter weight, but whenever I start, I try and pick the heaviest one that I can do. And as soon as that becomes too difficult, I grab a lighter one. And as soon as that becomes too difficult, I grab a lighter one. I, I think that's the best way for me at the moment because it means that I am pushing myself to pick up bigger weights. But at the same time, if you're not being able to keep up the reps and you're exhausting yourself a little bit too fast, maybe that's something I'm doing wrong. Today's stats, actually, yeah, we took notes. We ate 2,159 calories and we consumed 3,111, a lot more than I was expecting. Our total deficit is 952. Way more than our target deficit of 500. So it does mean that we just have a bit of an allowance of calories a little bit later in the week. So we can stock up a little bit more somewhere. It's, uh, see the challenge with this is because we're using just regular chicken breast, uh, the chicken thighs are just so calorie dense. It kind of feels like you don't have to put that much effort to get to about 2,400 calories. Whereas with uh, like 500 grams of chicken breast, which is too like, reasonably sized breasts, they, uh, no puns intended, uh, they come out at around 900 calories. So it's, whereas with the chicken thighs, just like 300 grams of, of that uh, is, is coming up to close to over a thousand or so. And it's just a little bit easier to eat because there's a lot less of it because it's mostly, it's more, a lot more fat, but, uh, it's just something to keep in mind. Um, we didn't have any avocado with the first meal. We just had that for the second meal. Um, perhaps there was some, perhaps I can figure it out a little bit differently. I've got to fit with the pork slices because I got it from the butcher. I, he probably hasn't cut them up into, well, I, I got two kilos worth and I'm going to have to like use a pair of scissors to cut some of them up. But the price is pretty good. I got everything I needed. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get to at least Saturday before I need to think about grabbing anything else. But the food was good. The food quality was really good. The chicken breast was absolutely delicious. Like when I ate that, uh, very, very high quality. And also the pork as well. The pork was, the pork was good. Uh, I probably should stop adding salt when I'm cooking because uh, I feel like that's the only seasoning that I'm currently, currently using. Uh, and mostly just using that with like on potatoes and chucking it on. I normally use a bunch of other seasonings, but I've not touched any of that stuff because that would involve me reading all of the ingredients and then trying to see if there's any uh, grains or processed oils or anything like that and in the product and we're currently trying to avoid all of those but all in all we're about to go to bed it is the clock is over there just before midnight uh we had a hell of a day uh tomorrow's workout's a bit easier and then wednesday is fit which i you know how i feel about that if you've been watching this channel <laughs> I love the results, but it's, it is tough. It is really tough. And it's one area you definitely get to push yourself. Um, yeah, another day, another day in the office tomorrow, which is at home. So quite a, no, no commute or anything like that. And quite honestly, I think that's also making the whole diet thing a lot easier. I can imagine it'd be a lot harder for people if you're around a bunch of people in an office and they're like, oh, let's go out and get some food or people are bringing coffees back. Um, you know to stick to to stick to that diet and because i'm not surrounded by people all the time it's a lot easier for me to just sort of respect my own boundaries and say this is what i'm doing and i just cook it out and i don't need to talk to anybody because it's all it's all just here haven't painted my, uh, a football up yet and started talking to it um i feel like that's the point where i know i've gotten to the level of madness when you start going tom hanks in your own living room so yeah let's wrap this one up uh good day Overdid it on the burn of calories, or rather we can say we underdid it on eating. Probably need to eat, we needed to eat closer to about 24, 2500 based on how much we burned. 
we'll see it. we'll track that throughout the week and see we might need to have a bigger meal on the weekend to catch up but we'll track every day and that'll make it much easier to hit our goal anyway guys peace out and see you tomorrow hey good morning guys or good afternoon uh yeah it's after 12 so it's afternoon here uh this is day 16 of the january 2k challenge uh for body development so woke up today feeling uh pretty pretty tired uh to be honest i probably needed maybe more like nine hours sleep to be honest i was just like completely wiped out but i'm i'm doing okay i've rallied up a little bit i've got quite a lot of work done this morning and we're actually just in the process of cooking lunch uh we can just show you right there we're cooking hold on the camera is that side pork pick up pork loins and we're cooking that in water and the potatoes we did our, our timing was a bit off you know what happens when you sort of get sucked into uh working on a presentation and the potatoes are already done so i just gotta cook these up and they'll be good to chuck on a plate and then we'll get some dark chocolate uh measure it out on our scales probably one of the best purchases i made was the scales sorry this is what happens when you use the wrong camera the person facing camera uh so yeah, we'll get some dark chocolate on there and then that will bring us up to just over a thousand calories and then we can have a avocado chicken and some more dark chocolate later to get us up to about that 22, 2300 range. Yesterday was a really big day, burned off a total of 3,111 calories because uh, that included the walk as well. And our, we only ate about 2,000, so we were at a much higher deficit than we intended. So it's just something to keep in mind. We probably have to pick up a bigger meal a little bit later in the week to balance that out and get us to our 500 average but all in all still holding out pretty strong uh still haven't given in and had alcohol still haven't uh broken any of the diet rules so i'm taking that as a good sign to keep going right so i will show you once all the food is prepared exactly what we're eating and then i'll catch you up a little bit later with meal two and guys this is the meal we have 434 grams of pork thick cut pork loin we have some overcooked 304 grams of salad potatoes and then we have 25 grams of dark chocolate all in all this brings us up to just over a thousand calories i think it's about 1040 or something i haven't put the dark chocolate on but prior to that it was like 930 so pretty good meal to get tucked into brings us just below our halfway point that we're looking for for today's calorie goals anyway i'm going to get into this and i'll see you guys a bit later with meal two and guys this is meal two we have 400 grams of chicken 256 grams roughly of parsnip 25 grams 26 grams of dark chocolate 199 grams of avocado uh, this brings us up to 2185 calories in today our training session is in just over an hour and we should we haven't really gone for a walk or anything spectacular today so we should be aiming for a deficit uh we should be aiming to burn off about 600 from our workout and walk in there and back so all in all should be good and we'll see how the stats line up with the end of day review hey guys we're here for a wrap up of day 15 for the january 2k challenge for body development uh today pretty good day uh training was fine uh struggling uh, to keep up on the pace on fast squats with the kettlebell i when it's going down uh, when you sort of your pace has come down over four seconds so slow on the decline and then the stand up straight over like quite quickly so one second i generally find that i don't struggle with that at all it's as soon as i've got to sort of keep a pace on squats like i, I find that incredibly taxing on my body and i really struggle with that i need to also push myself to take bigger weights uh for four of these exercises to start building a little bit more muscle and just um, being a bit more confident. The problem that I find is because the workouts get more and more intense. Whereas when I'm doing like a normal weight training set, I quite easily each, each set put the weight up uh, in lines with what I'm expecting to, to move forward with. But the problem with this is because I'm finding myself, my heart rate's getting higher and higher and I'm getting more and more exhausted that it's kind of like almost like a reverse pyramid feels like the only way I'm going to be able to keep up with uh with the class but the truth is to be told is i have to just keep the pace that i can aim to stick with the class and then if you get to a point where you can't go ahead and um take it down a notch and just keep working on it i guess is the best solution so for today we had 
2,185 calories in, 2,314 calories out for a total deficit of 129. So I didn't go for a walk today. I wasn't particularly active around the home. Uh, I was pretty much just at my work PC and not doing a lot, which can actually tell you right there that it's how much you just don't, it's not moving around when, when you do do things like work from home or when you just have one of those days where you just, uh, I don't know, sit for and binge a bit of Netflix. Like your, your base, my base met metabolism seems to be around 1800, at least seems to be coming out quite average. Um, and then everything else is coming off of uh, being being more active. Uh, if I have a day where I do absolutely nothing, this will balance out because our first day we were a uh, thousand calories under what we were supposed to be under. So we're still in a deficit today. It's just a ca it's a matter of fact that I'm my averages is going to be skewed a little bit. So still good, but we need to we need to incorporate walks. We need to just definitely get out there and do a little bit, even if it's only like a, a mile, like 2000 steps or something. Just that in itself seems to do like a hundred calories, 150, like 200. Like it's, it's really easy. I live literally right next to a, a, a big park and I can just go, go for a walk straight through there, put some music on or listen to a podcast and just uh, take a, take a quick walk on a morning break in, uh, after I check my emails or something and I've not got any any meetings lined up or even just get up earlier beforehand and just uh, use that because whenever I do find myself moving around a bit in the mornings I find myself generally less hungry uh, something I've been struggling to stick to so if, um, is actually having my lunch at 12 I've been my fast has actually kind of been first meal ends up being eaten at like one o'clock my second meal gets eaten at five o'clock uh, and then essentially I don't eat again until, until one. So I'm shaving like, how much is that? Is that a one to five is like a four hour window. So we're doing like a 20 hour fast, uh, which is not intended. Like originally I still want to keep that at, uh, six, uh, six hours eating 18 hour fast. It's just kind of how it's lining up with, uh, me planning around, uh, the kitchen in that. Cause it takes a while to cook, uh, the it's actually the carbs that take a pain in us. It's the parsnips and the potatoes that take quite a while. Take about thirty minutes in the oven. Uh, chicken breast as well take about thirty minutes. Something that I've been doing, I have been loading up the plate with a little bit too many carbs. I actually went over my carbs goal quite a lot today. Um, it's creeping up to like close to twenty percent of my calories coming from carbs, and that's not where we want to be. My goal originally was to get it down to 10, which is possible using chicken thighs or liver or one of these super cheap, highly calorie dense, non-carbohydrate options. But the difficulty is when you don't have access to that, I'm kind of uh, then start loading up the plate just to get the calories up. And I need to, I need to work around that and, and get that down. Our protein has been great. Uh, we're over 200 on most days for protein which is more than one gram of protein per pound of body fat, a uh, pound of weight even. So in terms of those metrics, it's, that's going really well. My diet before is quite fat heavy with chicken thighs and pork, but yeah, no, I've like not had any digestive trouble or anything like that. Like I've not felt bloated or uncomfortable at, at all, which is, which is really interesting. I was expecting with, uh, a lack of vegetables and stuff like that, that I was going to be sort of feeling pretty, pretty awful. But if anything, I kind of like feeling the best I've ever felt at the minute. Like where my sinuses and all that seem to be clearing up a lot because um, I always had trouble with that stuff. I think I've mentioned it in an earlier video and uh, like my sense of smell is starting to, it's, it's sort of coming back uh, a lot stronger. Cause I went for ages where I could only really smell something that was directly under my face, but I'm seeing, I'm definitely seeing some health benefits as we're moving into, into week three and we'll, we'll be finishing this challenge up at the end of the month. So it turns out next week is actually push week. Uh, so next week is the week that we're supposed to push ourselves hard in the gym. I thought it was this week. So I've been providing the extra effort this week and now I'm going to be pushing myself even harder next week. So that's, that's pretty funny. And 
yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get to the end of this month, and I'm feeling very confident about it. I think the results are gonna be great, and then we're gonna carry it through uh, until we can hit our desired body composition goals. And there was mention on the body development website some some potential training for weights for for building muscle. So I'm, I'll probably check that out. But the difficulty with that is is building muscle in a calorie deficit seems like it's not possible. Uh, a lot of people talk about body recompositions on YouTube and they say, oh yeah, you just do this, do this, do this, and it's possible. I kind of take that with a grain of salt because I've never done it myself, right? It's uh, whenever I've been in a deficit, I've always been coming down on, on the scale and less so my muscles going up. Like even when I was uh, cutting the very first time, my weight was actually going up initially because I was actually building uh, strength. But I did hit a plateau with that and eventually I couldn't, uh, it didn't matter how hard I pushed on the bench, I, I just could not uh, get my weights up. So I need, what I needed to do was shift around my repetitions and uh, how, and my food, basically. I think I massively underate on a, a lot of those. So maybe it's possible with a, with a PT proper guidance on nutrition and setting goals and being able to check. It helps because I've got access to a scanner, which I can use twice a month, which then will give me a full detailed breakdown. So if I get to the end of this month and they say, hey, yeah, you've you've lost muscle mass, you've you've done this, then I can talk and ask sort of like, what, where should I go from there? And maybe consider changing up the diet. But first step is getting the 15% body fat. And our weight has come down significantly from our first scan. And our weights that we've been using during each of the sessions haven't necessarily gone down. So um, it would probably be good to do a bit of a strength check at, uh, on, a, on a regular bench, deadlift, um, overhead press, you know, the 5x5 five five lifts, just uh, and a traditional squat, just to sort of check and sort of see, am I retaining those personal best? In actual fact, I think my squatting technique has gotten a lot better doing so many repetitions. For this, uh, I kind of tilt forward. It's one of the problems I've always had with with my squats and sort of pu pushing myself to make sure I keep my chest up when I come down on the squats. Um, and maintaining that form is it's gotten a lot better. Because uh, I didn't actually realize I had a bunch of problems. Like um, for a lot of the ab workouts, you want to tilt your pelvis towards your ribcage so you get your lower back flat on the floor. And when I first started body development, I couldn't do that. I kept having an arch in my back and then you're just not working out the abs is, is tough. So a lot of, yeah, a lot of practice to get to the point of being able to work those, those correct muscles, put tension correctly on those muscle groups. Um, yeah, nothing else to report actually today. So we're gonna go to bed, we'll get up, we'll, we'll go for that walk and we'll complete the whole cycle again for day 16. I'll keep you posted. Goals are to bring our carbs down uh, a little bit and make sure that we're going to be aiming closer to the 500 deficit because 129 is well below what our target is, even if Monday we ended up being about a thousand. And tomorrow, actual fact, is fit, which is the really tough class. So I should have a really good burn from, from that. So we can, we're can we probably going to be looking at eating about 22, 2300, taking a walk, taking a fit class, and we'll probably look for about a six to 800 burn, uh, probably from activity. All right, let's call it out here, guys. Peace out, see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. We're here with day 17 of the 2K Club Challenge Body Development uh, today. So a quick overview of how I'm feeling. Um, woke up, I was all right. Got out, uh, managed to get my walk in. We burned about 170 calories on our walk. It was only just a short one around the park, uh, just to sort of just get the body up and running. Mood was generally all right. My first sort of pangs of hunger sort of came in around 10, 15. Um, our food now currently cooking, it'll be ready around one o'clock. So we're gonna eat about 1 p.m. But all in all, uh, still mood's pretty high. My muscles aren't aching too much from any of the workouts this week. So that's a good sign. Um, you know, before I, I've done some, some stuff with like buff dudes workouts and my legs after the leg days would be like two days after leg day, so much pain. Uh, well, yeah, so much pain. And it's always that question of like whether or not that burn is is a good feeling or if it's a bad feeling. It kind of goes away after you've trained for a little bit, but uh, burn is apparently not a good necessary indicator that you had a great workout. It may be a sign that you were doing stuff wrong. 
And it all comes down to what your what your personal goals are and are you making progress to, towards them, not just whether or not your, your legs are burning after leg day. Today we have fit for our evening workout, which is one of the toughest ones uh, that we're going to be doing. Uh, but we'll get through that and uh, it should be it should be okay. Um, yeah, other, other things to report. Uh, tiny little bit of a breakout on skin, but nothing too, too serious. I did switch razors uh, recently to a different brand and of course I nicked myself a couple of times. So there's every chance that it's something to do with that rather than diet or anything else. All right, guys, with that said and done, the next time I'll check in is when I'll show you lunch real soon. Hey, guys, this is meal one for the day. We have 441 grams of pork, 236 grams of potato, and 25 grams of dark chocolate. I'm not mixing it up or doing anything special. It's based on what we did when we went to Marks and Spencer's and what we picked up from the butchers. Although that said, I am running out of pork that adds up to this amount, so I'll probably have to get some more food tomorrow, which does mean that this has been a lot, lot less cost effective. I have a lot of chicken breasts still over though, so probably just have to use more of that. Uh, the chicken thighs were definitely the biggest saver on cost in terms of calorie to cost ratio, and I couldn't pick those up, which is probably why the bill's been a bit higher. But the food quality from the butchers has been fantastic. I can't complain. It's delicious, really, really good, and I'm, I've been enjoying it. Bit, bit more pricey on that basis, but anyway, we're going to tuck into this and I'll see you guys for meal two a little later. And guys, this is meal two. We have 201 grams of avocado and 550 grams of chicken breast. Have to say I'm not impressed with the avocados I picked up from the fruit and veg store. They all seem to be a bit black and as soon as they became uh, soft enough to really peel, so probably won't be using them again for avocados. Chicken, I can't complain about at all. It's uh, It's been great quality. In total, this brings us up to 1,081 calories on dinner. So a grand total of, um, I'll, I'll do an exact number at the end of the day with the breakdown, but it should be about 2,100 and something calories for the day. So we're going to eat this and then you'll get, a, you'll get some more a little bit later. Hey guys, we're here for a wrap up of day 17 of the 2K Club at Body Development, uh, January. So... Today, all in all, a very successful day in terms of calories in and out. Calories in, we had a total of 2,129, out 2,781, giving us a deficit of 652. So technically, we could have had chocolate with dinner, and that would have then put us exactly, almost exactly, that would have been 144. So that would have, yeah, put us very close to the 500 deficit exactly, but we chose not to. Uh, the extra deficit will also add up with the ones we were lacking from yesterday. But that then means that our walks are around about 200 of our calories, our active calories, and our workouts are more like 400, give or take, uh, depending on. It seems to be how it's working out. Today's workout was fit. Uh, that's always very tough, although my I was actually able to keep my, uh, keep up with my target repetitions almost the entire session which uh, for the five sets which was uh, great because uh, usually I'm struggling to get even close to that like I'll, I'll get to the squats and it'll be like you got I'm aiming for 15 I'll get seven um, I, I will struggle with the dips closer to the end because I do full dips with my legs off the ground and then you do them slowly you go down over two and you come up and then you raise your knees and doing that uh, you're only supposed to get like within 30 seconds like six reps, but it's really taxing on the arms I think if you were just doing it fast Almost if I was doing it faster, maybe it'd be easier in a way than when it's coming down slow because it's like I'm leaning on a nerve in my hand. And I can keep feeling my hand shaking on the bar and it kind of affects uh, Affects me on that. So there's still some things to work on but I feel like my my general overall fitness is getting better in that department uh, Looking in the mirror and I'm starting to notice changes um, I'm starting to feel a little bit, it's actually weird as like, it's before that step of where you start like really toning, but like the step where you notice that you've lost some body fat and I'm starting to feel a little bit skinny. I don't know if that's just kind of one of those things that you never really grow out of. Like when you, you start going, when you start lifting and you start seeing other people and the gains that they're making and you, you start uh, shrinking and shredding it off. Uh, I, you know, I have general faith that I'm maintaining that muscle mass 
I am making sure that my protein goals are being met. I'm eating quite a lot of that, more than one gram per uh, pound of body mass, and I'm eating as close to that 500 deficit as possible. So the scan will tell all, and then we'll carry it through through February, and then we'll carry it through longer than that until we get the get the full effect. But it's just trusting in the process and keep working on it. Uh, so other notes for today. So something uh, I did differently today is I had meetings at work, so I mistimed the uh, time where I was going to prepare my meal before I had a chance to do fit and I didn't want to eat right before you did it because that's one of the ones that's so active and lots of moving around very quickly that you don't want to have a, a body full of chicken and avocado so I, I ended up doing the workout I actually performed a lot better and then had the food when I came back um, which was a, a little bit outside of my normal fast period but I, I had my first meal around one o'clock so if you had on six hours from from one seven all right yeah we're a bit we're a bit over but um, I'm not going to beat myself up too much about it and we'll just make sure that we time things a little bit better for tomorrow. Yeah, mood right now, very good. I don't feel hungry. I feel quite relaxed. I'm in good health. Um, yeah, ready ready for the next day. Uh, we're almost coming to the end of this week. Um, when we get to the weekend, we don't do workouts. We can take it a lot easier on the weekends. I mean, I'll still probably try and get a walk in, but... Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try to avoid doing anything very strenuous. To to be honest, probably I won't be going climbing this weekend again. Let's put it that way. But yeah, that's pretty much me for today. So we're gonna check this one out here, and I'm gonna catch up with you guys on day 18 tomorrow morning. So peace out, and we'll see you soon. Hey, good afternoon, guys. Welcome to day 18 of the January 2K Club Challenge for Body Development. So this morning. Woke up at a bit bizarre. I went to bed quite late because uh, a new game came out that I was quite excited about. So I ended up doing the bad thing and staying up a little bit too late on a school night, no less, playing that. Uh, I got to bed about half 12, I think. Might have been a bit earlier than that, I don't remember. But I do remember waking up at 6 o'clock, about half 6 this morning, and was feeling really refreshed and ready to get up. But, like, you know, I'm trying to aim to get those eight hours of sleep. So I forced myself to go back to sleep, try relaxing, you know, breathing. It was a little bit of a challenge, but I managed to get a little back to sleep and get a little bit more in to try and keep those eight hours just to make sure the recovery is all going okay. Uh, hunger, literally, since I started making this video, that's the first time I started to feel hunger today. Um, I've been doing fine on, on that front. It's uh, pretty good. Like, I, I woke, I'm, like, up and around and feel like I'm ready to kick some ass today. Like, feeling great uh, overall. Uh, skin's been a little bit, uh, a little bit mad, but I can't tell if that's just because I'm staying up too late uh, at the moment. Uh, I need to get that under control. But largely, like where I get trouble, like on my shoulders, chest, and back, it's not usually my face. Uh, I've actually a lot of that's come down, like from where I've had it before. Like the trouble I have with my with my arms, you'll see it in some of the progress photos because I don't want to edit those, so you get a full view of what this diet actually does to you, along with this kind of training schedule. Um, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling really good about myself. Uh, it's at the point where I'm walking around, where I look in the mirror, I don't actually have to like hold my gut in at all to sort of start seeing development on my abs. So that's really nice. Obviously, if you want to take a nice photo, you can suck it in and you can get the sort of like the, the masculine shape. But it's going well. Uh, my ch chest feels like it shrunk quite a bit. Like uh, I feel a lot smaller on, on that side of things. But again, I'll be interested to see when we fully finish the... Uh, 2k club exactly what that's going to look like uh, at the moment probably just means that i can spend some more time doing uh chest exercises i feel like overall i've become stronger from the different types of push-ups we've been doing in the circuits uh which is well been doing push-ups instead of actually using bench press which is what i'm used to using in the gym so and my chest has come down a bit so it just probably means i was holding on to more fat in my in my chest than i actually was muscle from what i what i thought but yeah, we're going to keep at it. We've got lunch currently in the oven. Uh, we're going to be eating pork, potatoes, and some dark chocolate. The calorie count came out to 998 before the chocolate, so I'll add the chocolate on and we'll see exactly where we are. Uh, yeah, I haven't been out for a walk today, so uh, we haven't got those extra calories, but if we walk to the gym and walk back, that's going to be some as well. Um, but yeah, overall, feeling, feeling great and ready. All right. Guys, I'll catch you once we got lunch and you can take a look at what we're eating. Hey guys, this is meal one for the day. We have 1,142 calories total. We have 
uh, 500 grams of pork, actually about 550. We have 193 grams of new, well, they're not new potatoes, they're salad potatoes, and 25 grams of dark chocolate. All in all, the main dish is, about, is 998 calories, and combined, we've already gone over that. Looking forward to tucking into this, and I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later for meal two. And guys, this is meal two for the day. We have 221 grams of avocado and 550 grams of chicken breast, which comes up to oh, uh, nine, just over 900 calories. Uh, so we're getting very close to what we, our target was for today. And because we haven't gone for a walk, it should all balance out. Hey guys, we're here at the end of day 18. So overall, good day. Woke up with a ton of energy, even though I woke up early. Uh, about six o'clock and needed to go back to sleep when i got out of bed and i felt action pumped ready to go really good mood all day um workout was explosive really strong pushed up our weights on our squats and we kept much better on pace had to drop like the last couple of reps to from a 16 kilo down to a 12 kilo uh, when trying to keep the one one pace but overall uh, the workout felt a lot better I pushed myself to the max. I literally, when I stopped, like my legs and that were shaking. But it was, it was a good workout. Uh, today's stats: we ate two thousand and ninety calories. We burned off two thousand five hundred fifty-five. I didn't really walk anywhere today, so our deficit is four hundred sixty-five, which is close enough to the five hundred goal. Can't complain. It's a bit late now. It's uh, just before midnight, and I'm about to go to bed. Got our eight hours in, we've got quite a bit to do tomorrow, got to run to the store and stuff. We've run out of, I've got one chicken breast left, which is about 200 grams of chicken. We're generally right on potatoes and parsnips, so our carb source is fine. We're also out of dark chocolate, and we've got one more avocado left. So we need to we need to swing by the store. It'll probably be a quick run to Sainsbury's, grab some chicken thighs, um, a few other little bits and pieces just to see through the weekend, and then we'll pick a different store, and we'll do some comparisons on that. But the butchers probably needed to go for oh, it's a lot of meat. It's like thinking about three and a half kilos probably to give me enough to at the four rates of four hundred a day. Well, four hundred a day would be two point eight kilos. So we'd need, but it's not always exactly four hundred a day. Sometimes a few grams over, it ends up being like four hundred and fifty grams, and each day that kind of adds up. So it would have been kind of expensive to use the butchers for everything, but the quality of the food has been fantastic. Uh, it's just a case of, I think if I had the chicken thighs, it would have been really, really cheap in general, because that seems to be like the super food for getting high calorie density at a very low cost. All in all, a uh, great day. And we're looking forward to another one tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day of training this week, and then we'll take Saturday, Sunday off. And... Just take that time to, to relax a little bit. We'll check our, our macros and well, sorry, we'll check our calorie counts, our deficits, are we sort of averaging out, and then decide what we want to eat. Generally, um, my fitness pal actually reduced the amount of calories it wants me to eat to uh, 1815 down from 1880 as my weight's dropped a bit. So, uh, we probably don't even need to eat that much over the weekend either. All right, guys, I'm gonna go to bed, catch you for the next one. Hey guys, we're here on day 19 of the 2K challenge at Body Development. Um, feeling pretty good actually, a little bit chilly in the house, so I'm not touching the heating as much as possible in order to just try and keep it a little bit colder, because one of the things mentioned in two meals a day, the book, which I'll link below, uh, mentions that when we're cold, not shipped, not to the point where we're shivering, uh, we burn more body fat to keep ourselves warm. So we're just testing everything, we're throwing everything against the wall and we're seeing what happens when you follow everything? Uh, overall mood's pretty good. Uh, again, struggle a little bit to sleep uh, the full eight hours. I keep waking up around 6 a.m. at this point, and I'm trying to figure out why. I don't know if it's because it's starting to get a little bit lighter out a little bit sooner, or what exactly is going on. But uh, again, sleep has been something that I've been struggling with quite a bit on this because I've not been going to bed early enough. I have been getting the eight hours, but I do want to get up and just like, at a much earlier time and get going. So things for today, uh, we had to go to the store and pick up some food over the weekend because we ran out of uh, food from what we picked up from the butchers. We've just got one chicken breast left, which is about 200 grams. So we picked up some wonderful chicken thighs and got ourselves some thick cut pork loin steaks. Um, 
We also restocked on our dark chocolate. Uh, I did find a new brand that was actually 100% cocoa and the ingredients just says literally just cocoa beans. So I'm, if I can stomach that and it's not too bitter, glad I've been fine with the 90%. I'm just, I'll just switch to the 100% because there's no sugar in it at all, which is fantastic. So I'd like to cut that out entirely. I've just been tolerating it in small amounts um, as, as just an additional way to get extra calories in without having to just grab more protein essentially, because I'm already eating quite a lot of that, and without adding carbs or more fat. Well, technically you're getting carbohydrates in the in the bar and you are getting saturated fat, so I'm not entirely sure what my point was there. But either way, it was kind of like a more easygoing food source that I could essentially take in. It was, it was like almost having a, a dessert or a snack without actually having a dessert or a snack. One more day of training today, and then we're off for the weekend and we're gonna be taking that nice and easy. Uh, nothing too strenuous. Our overall deficit should fall within the 500 range quite comfortably. Interestingly, when I stepped on the scale this morning, I was, uh, how much is my weight? 74.7, so it's kind of not moved from when we did the, uh, actually I think the uh, lowest was 74.3. So probably something going on with a bit of water retention there or some, some of the other stuff. But we haven't dropped and I was expecting to sort of see some of the numbers go down. Of course, we'll count the stats on Sunday, we'll keep doing what we're doing. If we're eating in a deficit and we are making sure that we're keeping up on that, then we should be go we should be making progress. Anyway guys, so I'm gonna wrap this uh, morning vlog up and then the next time we'll see each other is when I show you what I'm eating. Alright guys, peace out and see you a bit later. And guys, this is lunch for today. So we have 256 grams of salad potatoes, we have 256 gram pork chop. Uh yeah, it's a Pretty thick pork chop, as you guys can see there. And then we have 27 grams of 100% dark chocolate cocoa. I am really excited to try that out because if I really like it, I can literally cut sugar out entirely on the rest of this run. I only have a tiny little bit as it is. Uh, but yeah, if we can handle it, then it will become a, a mainstay. I'm gonna see, this meal actually only comes out at about 900 calories. So it's putting us a little bit below the 1100 we're looking at. Although, that said, if we don't go for walks, it turns out that around 2000 is correct uh, for our regular burn. Anyway, guys, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Okay, guys, this is dinner. It's very protein heavy. We've got two chicken thighs and one chicken breast because we had the chicken breast left over from the butchers and we don't want it to go bad. So that's 216 I think on the chicken breast um 336 it comes out at 1200 just over 1200 calories and we also have the dark chocolate as well the 100 percent it is very very bitter a little bit hard to uh to eat that one it tastes a little bit almost the first bite of it I actually thought am I eating dirt but it's a taste that's growing on me it's a taste that's growing on me so we'll just keep at it uh, no carb source with this, and we didn't need an avocado to hit our calorie goal. We are at 2,025. So, yeah, pretty good overall today on that. And then we'll kind of up with our burn for our wrap up a little bit later. Hey guys, how's it going? We're at the end of day, was it 19? Yeah, day 19 just finished up. Technically, we're into day 20 because uh, it's uh, just past midnight now. But Overall, very successful day. Uh, we had for our evening session arms, uh, just a 45 minute arm workout. Feels a bit like a bro split, but really intense. Um, I actually found myself going up a lot more weights on my tricep exercises, which is a bit of a surprise because I've been generally a bit stuck on those for, for a bit, where essentially the idea is that you'd use the same weight that you curl, the same weight that you kick back. Um, I was finding whenever I was doing that, I had to keep putting weights down on my curls because my triceps weren't keeping up because with the curls, I can generally do the whole stack of the adjustable weights that we use. Essentially, you can move the pins and it'll affect how much you pick up uh, for curling, but I would be able not be able to keep pace if I used the whole stack with um, the one up, one down. So we use just a little bit less than that. But then on the kickbacks, uh, we, uh, I, sorry, I keep saying we, thinking me and my body, but we're the same person. Uh, with the kickbacks, uh, I'm generally doing a lot less, but I found myself at the end of the session just getting a bit more brave, pushing that weight up, up a lot. And, you know, I'm getting more confident with uh, with those kickbacks and being able to maintain the form without it all falling apart. 
That said, the stats for today, we ate 2,025 calories. We burned off 2,701 calories, which gives us a deficit of 676, which is a bit over what we were aiming for. But overall, close enough, close enough to that 500 goal, especially considering the, uh, the day that we've been away, uh, been under. And we've also got the weekend where we're not going to be doing much uh, working out. We're going to try and take it a bit easy and just eat that 1800 a day because my fitness power is already set up at a 500 deficit from what we're aiming for. So yeah, good times, good times overall. Uh, I'm going to go to bed because it, I'm just knackered and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. But I hope you guys have a good one. Peace out. Good morning, everybody. This is day 20 of the 2K Club Working With Body Development today so we don't have any workout planned we are just going to be taking it a little bit easy we are going to go for a walk we're going to have our food go for a walk our target number of calories for today is 1808 probably about uh if we do go for a walk we can probably take that up because we are going to be catching up with our best friend later and walking over to the city center so we usually burn about 150 calories there long so then i won't be eating anything at the bar that we'll go to and i'll just get in soda water so all in all, probably can go up to about 2,000 calories today without it being too mad. We should uh, we should be all right on that, although we are going to try and stick for 1,800 is our, is our goal, but we've got a little bit of leniency with that. How am I feeling today? So woke up, um, I went to bed really late last night and didn't sleep particularly well. Seems like as soon as the sun comes up, I want to get up. But oddly, I'm feeling really refreshed, even though I didn't, I know I didn't sleep the full, full eight hours. Um, I'm feeling real good and uh, I'm looking forward to them and my spirits are great. I just want to go out and do some stuff. I'm really excited to see, see my best friend and yeah, lunch is cooking. I'm feeling really hungry now. It's just coming up to 12 o'clock. So we're just going out of that, that long fast. Although we ate a little bit later yesterday as well, just because of how things worked out. Uh, so we're going to stick within our, our time, our fasting periods today. And then that will give us plenty of, time to burn the fat off. We did step on the scale to sort of get a sneak peek for tomorrow. It said 74.1, which is, which is, yeah, it's down from where it was when we did our weigh-in last week, which was uh, 74.3. Our target was to get to 73.8, and I don't think I'm gonna be losing 300 grams between today and tomorrow. Uh, but there's of course some fluctuations in the weight, as long as it's coming down, and it probably just means I need to mix something up. I think my calorie deficit has been a bit greater. Uh, this week than it was the previous week on average um, but we'll see well, we'll ultimately see and maybe we do need to just start adding up more more walking to to our days in order to, to reach those goals but yeah feeling strong feeling strong feeling good and ready uh, ready to kick this day right in the ass so i'll catch up with you guys once we finish cooking and you can see what we're going to be eating all right guys this is meal one for today. So we have 256 grams of thick cut pork. Uh, is it pork loin? Yeah, it's a pork chop, it's thick. It's pork and it's 256 grams. And then we have some potatoes at 245, 46 grams. And we'll have a little bit of dark chocolate as well on the side, I haven't cut, got that up yet, but we're gonna be looking at 100% organic, organic. It's just 100% dark. I don't even know if it's organic. There's so many of these buzzwords for marketing. It's hard to tell if it means anything anymore. But yeah, basically a bit of chocolate on the side to go with this. Okay, guys, this is meal two for today. We just have two chicken fights, about 330 something grams of, of that. And we also have 45 grams of dark chocolate. So we're using the rest of the absolute black because they sell that in packs of 90, which is just a real pain in the ass. I want to try and eat 25 grams a day. And then we have some 90% um, Dark chocolate, about 30 grams of that, brings us right up to we're about six calories away from our daily goal. So one and all, pretty successful day. Uh, I'll catch you guys for the wrap up a bit later. Hey guys, we're here for a wrap up of day 20 of the 2K Club at Body Development, January. So today, really good day, woke up. Uh, I mentioned I had a bit of a rough sleep. I didn't sleep uh, the full eight hours, but today my energy has been like off the chart. I've been just like, Raining around and just kick ass all day. Obviously, we're not getting into fights or anything stupid like that, but just like really feeling motivated and a lot of energy and feeling gen genuinely excited just uh, to get about the day. I caught up with my best friend, I uh, had a great time. 
uh, go go went to went to a bar. I, I'm okay just getting soda water. I didn't. I'm not even drinking alcohol uh, at this point. I don't even feel tempted. It's been this is like my third week in a row without it, uh, especially just coming off the back of Christmas, and I've not uh, I've not felt bad about it. Like I, I kind of want to drink it again. Like I will once we, we're done with this. Just I want to kind of see what the full effect of the experiment is. But overall, it's uh, I've been my diet and that has been making me feel great. Um, the training has been going well. I feel like my I'm making progression on weights. I feel like my form's getting better. And we're really making progress on that side. My energy levels are up. And I'm doing all this in a big calorie deficit as well. Like we're actually eating under what our body's burning in order for us to keep functioning. And I'm like just feel very vitalized in that at the moment. In fact, when we're talking about calories, we can talk about today's stats. Uh, today we ate 1,809 which was six cal exactly six calories under our target, so fantastic. Uh, we burned 2,518, uh, so that gave us a total deficit of 709. So again, a part of that huge deficit came from um, the walking that I did when I, when I saw my friend. I walked to the bar, uh, so there's like sort of extra calories come in there. So I could have ate a bit more, but it's just kind of like, we can just take those as sort of extra burnings with an acceptable range of it's not like a thousand under or yeah, even not 800, 900 under because that would then be way too much. Uh, but overall, I feel like we're leaning probably higher towards about 700, 800 average. And that is a bit problematic. 700, I'll accept. 800 means I just need to make sure I eat more. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll check tomorrow and I'll, I'll plan a little bit more about whether or not I need a sort of a bigger meal on, uh, on the Sunday in order to catch up. But we also have a full weigh-in and we'll get like a full breakdown of... Uh, what we stand this week, I'll go over the costs of everything involved this week as well, so we can sort of see what our cost, uh, what our value to calories was, and what um, how it all went, and then we can look forward to week four. Yeah, we're going into week four of this, and we'll run to the end of January, and then uh, we have the full January two K club, and then we're, we're just going to roll it into February. Uh, March uh, body development does offer the group services for like the 2k club they say they keep it running past january so people can keep doing it because some people they want to drop a lot more than two kilos um for me it's entirely uh, how long i keep it up entirely depends on when my body fat percentage gets to the range that i want to and i when i look in the mirror i've got the right physique but i'm not gonna lie it's gonna sound kind of vain in that but i like i'll see myself in the mirror and i can start seeing the definition coming through and uh, starting to see myself getting leaner and leaner and feeling it and stuff and yeah, it's really positive. Like, I just feel really good about myself. And I love it. Like, well, what's not to love when you've got, uh, when, you're, when you're happy being inside your own skin? Uh, it's It's been great. Because, like, like, I've been le I've been lean before and stuff. But doing it this way, I definitely feel like I've maintained more muscle over the years that I've built up from lifting. And doing this cut sort of much more uh, with guidance of, like, PTs, where they can correct you if they see stuff's going wrong and that. I feel like I'm getting closer to the results I wanted uh, all along. But, you know, let's not count our chickens before they've hatched. We'll get to the end of uh, January, see how we look, and then we'll keep rolling it through and see if we can get the chad bod for summer. All right, guys, I'm going to go to bed, but uh, peace out and catch you tomorrow for the next one. Good morning, guys. This is day 21 of the 2K Club for body development. Uh, today is a Sunday and it's in the morning, so it's our weigh-in day. So we took a step on the scale, and I'm not going to lie, I'm, I was pretty shocked. Uh, I didn't even look in the mirror before I did that. I was just straight away, straight to the scale. I like, uh, hadn't drunk anything, haven't eaten anything, been to the bathroom, go to the scale, step on it, and get our, get our weigh in. And our target was 73.8 kilos. We actually came in at 73.3 kilos this morning. So that was like an extra half a, half a kilo dropped from our target. Our, so we, 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 I, I don't know why I keep saying we, I keep separating my brain from my body, but it's all me. We absolutely smashed our target and I, I had to like triple check it because uh, really I was like, wait, this this can't be right. Because um, I, I, yesterday I was like 74.1 in the morning. Um, it turns out that that is uh, exactly where we stand right now. We've took our progress photos so you can see them on the screen now and you guys can see where we're at. Still, you can start to see the outline of of the abs on that it's still a little bit you can't it, you haven't got like the chisel i haven't got the chiseled look so it's we still got some we still got some way to go but 
naturally, uh, things that I've noticed that my arms have, have retained size, they, they're still pretty big in comparison to where they were. If you, if it's something kind of personal you'd know about yourself, like if you'd seen me years ago, uh, my arms were quite small and stuff, so that's good. My chest has actually shrunk a lot more than I thought it would, uh, but was, yeah, uh, it's something to just keep working on. Probably means I need to do more, more chest exercises when we go into the next phase of putting on muscle. But we're going to keep at it, and uh, we've got, what is it, I think it's one more week officially of January, one more weigh-in in January, and we'll get our scan as well. And that'll be the real test to sort of check and see how much muscle mass we've retained and how much body fat percentage we've lost. And then we'll carry this on through February, and we'll see when we hit our goal. But I think around 70 kilos was my goal to be for May. Yeah, I think it was like May I was planning to probably be around that level and then see what our body fat is. But if we keep up at this pace, it's it should be two kilos a month. We should, we should be dead by the end of February, which would be insane um, from this. And all I can credit is that my diet has been on point. I haven't been drinking any alcohol. I've been literally following everything. You can go back and watch all the videos so far and you literally see anything that went in my mouth. That was food. That was food, yeah. <laughs> uh, so any food that I, I, I ate, it, it just, uh, it's all there in the videos, you can see. And my workouts, all of it's been logged on, on my, my watch, uh, my Garmin Connect. So I've got all of that, all my calories are in my fitness pal. And the results have been pretty, pretty insane. So it's something I have to give credit to for the two meals a day book. It's, it talks about not having any processed oils, uh, grains, or sugars, and cutting all of that out of the diet. Like, I've I've avoided it even when I've sort of gone into to bars, like not having beer or uh, having uh, any kind of, like, s sodas or fizzy drinks and stuff. It's just literally been water. It's the only thing I've been drinking. I've been drinking, like, four and a half litres. Well, not four and a half, four and a quarter litres every day uh, doing this. And it's the weight is kind of like falling off. Like when we started this, we were 79.5. And even if we account for like a two kilo leniency from the fact that we did that scan at the end of the day rather than at the beginning, that would be 77 to 73 in three weeks. It's like a kilo a week, or I think it's like 2.25 pounds to a kilo. I'll put on the screen right here what that, that means. Uh, we'll do a full breakdown of the week when we get to the end of today, and of course I'll show you the meals. They're going to be the same, we're going to be having some chicken pies and some pork today. Um, yeah, I'll probably to spend some time, go see my parents. It's uh, Sunday, so I'm not going to be doing anything incredibly active, as we try to take these as rest days, and then we're back in with Metcon kettlebell cards tomorrow, which can be... it can be... It can be much harder on some weeks and other weeks depending on how the cards come out for example you get a lot of uh, face cards which means 10 reps of certain exercises that are hard and then you get jokers which then double the rep ranges and um, it's actually push week next week as well so the idea is that you're supposed to really go all out of course i've misunderstood before that was this week so i've been going all out this week so to raise the bar again it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough but yeah we're just gonna do our best and quite honestly if i keep waking up feeling the way i am right now like so full of life and vigor i i can't see why not like worst case i, I can't do it and we just try again the following week like i i just have to stop on a rep or i have to slow down but my energy levels have just been going up and up and up uh, these these past few days and um, it's actually kind of weird it's one of those things when i get older i wasn't really i don't really get excited about stuff anymore like it's but, you know, you feel, you feel like happy that stuff's going to happen. You know, you're going to see an old friend or you're, you're going to get, you've got, you get some new clothes or something like that. And, or a new game comes out and it's like, I don't really feel that level of excitement uh, that I used to feel as a kid. And I don't know why, but I've started sort of feeling that again. And I don't know if that's just because my body image is getting more and more positive. Like I'm really happy with the results that I'm seeing and I'm genuinely feeling better about myself or if it's, or if it's a side effect of taking a bunch of stuff out of my diet that uh, wasn't serving me at all. Like, my gut health has been great. I used to struggle... This is... I feel like I'm oversharing right here. You guys, you guys aren't my therapist, but 
I used to struggle with like IBS really badly um, to the point of where when I was in meetings and stuff like I, I had to tell my boss like look at some point I may just get off and walk out please don't make it weird I, I'm sorry about it it's just I can can't help it I, I stopped having that trouble a while back when I started training actually and I cut caffeine out of my diet and and lactose and that actually helped me but like I've doing since I've been doing this this diet and this, this routine I've not like felt any bloating I've not felt uncomfortable after any meal I've not I've not felt weird sometimes you just eat something and you just go oh, I don't that didn't agree with me I've not had any of those problems whatsoever like I don't I haven't even like set foot out of the house and I'm worried even remotely about how how I feel or anything I mean the only problem that I have had is like drinking so much water that needing to pee a lot but that's actually coming down like I'm not feeling that need as quite as quite as bad as I did in the beginning where it's just like yeah I've got to I've got to run to the restroom I've got to run to the restroom so it feels like it seems like that kind of your body gets used to taking on that much water uh, at around the two and a half week mark it feels like it's like yeah the past couple of days it's like it's almost like I've gone back to normal on on that side of things it's not like every 20 minutes like oh yeah yeah i need to i need to go to the bathroom again but anyway all of that all that junk aside feeling great can't complain honestly uh really excited to see what our actual scan comes out at next week and really working towards the chad bod that we so much desire all right guys i'm gonna catch you a little bit later once we've got food on the table uh, so have a good one and we'll see you real soon Okay guys, this is meal one for today. We have two chicken thighs and 230 grams of parsnips. I can't remember exactly, but the chicken thighs should be about 334. We have 26 grams of dark chocolate. This actually takes up 1,053 calories or something like that, which is more than half of what I had allocated for today. So the meal later is going to be uh, a little bit light. Something for me to keep in mind is... I bought these avocados close to the weekend because I thought I was going to use them, but I do not have the calorie allowance essentially to eat them. So I think the correct move is to get four avocados for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then pick up one more a little later in the week uh, for Friday. And then on the weekends, not have them because these ones are going to go bad before I get back into being able to eat them. So I'm going to lose a little bit of value on that. But all in all, pretty basic meal, same as what you've seen a lot before. So. Here we go. And guys, this is meal two for today. So we have 26 grams of dark chocolate on the side. We have 126 grams of avocado and one pork chop. All in all, uh, this is over 800 calories for the entire meal and brings us about 76 over what our daily target is. But we've been out and about a little bit today, doing just walking, not anything too strenuous. So we will have a bit of a burn there and this will balance out and we will end up in our sweet spot for the right deficit. I'm going to tuck into this, but I'll catch up with you guys there for a full breakdown of the week. Hey guys, we're here for a wrap up of day 21 of the January 2K club with body development. We've got to the end of the day. I'm feeling pretty tired now. It's pretty late. It's just before midnight. I'm just... It's a Sunday, so I should have been in bed a lot earlier. So I've got to get up and, and do some stuff for work. But overall, good day. Energy levels was great. I went to see some family. It's getting a lot easier for me to, to sort of just be in bars and just get soda water. It's just like sparkling water. And while I get drinks from my, my dad or, or my friends and stuff like that, I'm just kind of getting like used to that. So it's not really weird. People do like give you a weird look when you're not like getting a beer or, or anything. But to be honest, like the thought of drinking a beer right now is just like, it's not appealing to me, which is weird. Because I used to love beer. In fact, my drink of choice was cider when I was in university, and there's just so much sugar in that I can't even drink it anymore. It just makes me doesn't make me feel good. And then when I drink beer, I, I just feel bloated and don't like it, which is why I switched to rum. Um, but I've been generally fine for a couple of weeks without it, and I haven't really, you know, as much as I'd like to have like a bit. It's like it's not like I felt like oh I have to do this. Like it's like this craving that I can't make go away. All in all, uh, a really good week. Um, let's go into the stats for today. Actually, we ate 1,879 calories. We burned 2,849. Went for a bit of a walk with my dad. And our deficit was about 970. So 
what I should have done is ate a little bit more today. We were massively under what our, well, we were, we, we ate way less than we were supposed to because we want to keep a 500 deficit. So 900 is a bit steep, but it is the end of the week and it's probably a good time now to tally everything up. Our total in was around 14,000 calories. Our total out was just over 18,000. It was like 18,364. And our deficit in total was uh, 4,553 calories, which is, I've totaled this up wrong actually now looking at it, but yeah, I know our deficit, I did the deficit calculation correct. So that's definitely about 4,552, which when average out gives us a daily deficit of 650. Our total in is wrong. Okay, so that's, Probably should have uh, double checked my math before uh, before we started the video. But yeah, operating at a 650 calorie deficit is a little bit over the 500, but within an acceptable range, which is generally really, really good. That is gonna mess up my the calculation that I also made on how much we spent. In total, we went to a butcher's, if you remember from our first video this week, um, we went to a fruit and veg shop, independent, and we bought a week's worth of food Got to about first day and we ran out of food and we had to go to Sainsbury's and pick up some extra stuff. Our total spent for the week was £54.99. Really expensive to be honest for what we're doing but because we couldn't get chicken fries at the butchers and our calorie calculation, which isn't going to be 100% accurate because I've totaled it up slightly wrong, um, is 259.6 calories to a pound which is a lot less than what we were getting from Marks and Spencer's with the chicken fries but they're the biggest hack for this whole experiment essentially because they're cheap they're calorie dense and if you can stand liver by all means fish as well i'm allergic to seafood so i can't enjoy that but like stuff for, for you guys if you're doing it yourselves to add to your diets no it's been really good uh, i took my progress pictures uh, this morning uh, i already showed them to you uh almost once you got to scale i've had a few minor breakouts of uh, acne on my chest and my stomach and the abs area, which sucks when you're trying to get a good photo and be like, oh yeah, I can start to see my abs come through and you've got like a spot there or something. But it's just, um, my skin's just generally always been really sensitive. I've always had a bit of trouble with that. It's been a lot less though from, uh, I've noticed this month, uh, like on my arms and stuff. It's like, it's not like super bad, but it's bad enough where like, that you, if you if you went to a swimming pool and took your shirt off, you, I feel a little bit self-conscious, which is stupid because I don't really care what anyone else thinks, but there's still always that thing, right? Uh, so that's uh, that will sort itself out. I think part of that is just due to the fact I've been going to bed like really late for the past while. And I think the sleep getting messed up is a big part of why my skin doesn't feel great all the time. But it's not as bad as it has been, so that's that's all good. I'd say today's been this week's been incredibly successful. Our target weight was 78. Uh, sorry, 73.8 kilograms, and we actually hit 70, uh, seven, sorry, so yeah, 73.8, and we actually hit 73.3, which is a whole kilogram drop from our previous uh, target. That would have been the target I would have set for next week. However, that just means then we're going to be looking to go to 72.8 over the next, next few days, and really, I've got a lot of room to add stuff in if, uh, if my weight stalls out, like, I can add more cardio, I can go for more walks, I can definitely do more active stuff on the weekends. Like I've given myself quite a bit of runway to to get over plateaus because there's, there's some problems that people have is they'll go flat out and they literally can't fit another minute workout in their day. They can't cut a single calorie. They don't really have any cards to play in, in their situation and then it gets frustrating when you hit plateaus. Um, so I've got quite a bit of room for that, but I can't complain like this, this diet thing has been incredible for an experience. I've never dropped weight this fast. I did an entire cut the first year that I started training uh, and that was over 12 weeks and we got I, I got my weight down I think it was around to about 74 down from 85 over 12 weeks and we've I've dropped so much faster this uh, just in three weeks but I haven't been having energy troubles. I haven't been using lower weights. I've actually been picking up heavier weights. So, so far everything's working. I'm just wondering in the, 
in the long term, what kind of effects we're going to have on the big uh, carbohydrates deficit that we're, we're including. Because my diet used to be, there used to be a lot of carbs. They made up most of the food and I was eating three times a day. Maybe, maybe after two months or so, my body starts to feel a bit weird, but we'll just keep checking and we'll keep these diaries and we'll know when we look back. All right, guys, so let's wrap it up here. Uh, it's been fun, but I'll catch up with you tomorrow. We still have food left over from last week. So actually, when I say it costs 54.99 for a week, that's not true. I've got enough chicken fries to probably see me through about two, three days uh, at this point. Uh, if I want to mix up the meat, so I'm going to have to go out and get some more pork or get something, some, something else. Our carb sources, we're also out of parsnips and also out of potatoes. We have enough dark chocolate to see us through the entire week uh, without having to pick that up. Although I might go and pick up, because uh, it was on sale, some of the absolute dark chocolate because um, we can then completely cut sugar uh, sugar out of the diet. Uh, with even Although when you have 90% dark chocolate, there's not very much sugar in there at all. It's quite a bitter taste for a lot of people. It may be used to more milk chocolate or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'll probably pick up some more Absolute Black and I just need to figure out where I'm going to go to next. Alright guys, I'm already yawning, I'm trying to hold it down right now, so I'm going to just say peace out and I'm going to catch up with you for day 22 tomorrow.